a small town of just under 70,000 people, tucked into the Appalachian foothills, Greenville might not be the most obvious choice for a weekend getaway. But over the last few years, it's become a weird off-myth favorite among travelers in the know. The city takes great advantage of its natural charms. The Reedy River, which runs through the center of town, is surrounded by walking and biking paths, independent shops and restaurants, and a state-of-the-art amphitheater. The colorful downtown is walkable and punctuated with plazas. And the food scene is popping. Here's our guide to a weekend escape in this charming South Carolina city. Falls Park, in the center of downtown Greenville, is the perfect place for a stroll. Copyright for shipping Lonely Planet arrive in Greenville in the late afternoon or early evening and make Falls Park on the Reedy your first stop. Smack dab in the center of downtown, this urban oasis would feel European if it weren't for the modern high-rises that surround it. Wander the trail, enjoy views of the waterfall from the candelevered Liberty Street Bridge, and wave at the Canada geese waiting in the water. Once you've taken in the scene, settle in at one of the restaurants overlooking the river and falls for dinner, like the Mediterranean-inspired Lazy Goat or the Osa French Passerelle Bistro. If you're lucky, you'll hear music from an outdoor concert at the nearby Peace Center. The sun-speckled patio at Passerelle copyright for shipping Lonely Planet wake up early to make the most of your weekend, and grab breakfast at the Greenville Saturday Market, which takes over several blocks of Main Street each week. Local vendors of everything from bread and produce to scented candles and soaps line up beneath white tents. Our breakfast pick the paint choco from Bake Room. The Saturday market on Main Street is a popular weekend activity copyright for shipping Lonely Planet. After you've had your fill of browsing, it's time for some activity. Walk down to Reedy Bikes, rent a cruiser and set out on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. This rail stow trails project runs almost 20 miles along the Reedy River, so your trip can be as long or short as you like. We recommend the 20-mile round-trip journey to Traveler's Rest, a scenic, mostly flat ride that winds past the verdant campus of Clemson University. In the quaint town center on South Main Street, you'll find a variety of shopping, dining and drinking options. It's hard to go wrong, but hyper-local Swamp Rabbit Brewery and the crunchy, wood-fired pies at Sidewall Pizza will fuel you for your ride back. The spicy Italian pizza at Sidewall has a picture-perfect crust copyright Trisha Ping Lonely Planet back in Greenville. It's time to get cleaned up and go out on the town. Start your evening at Gianna with a refreshing, citrus-garnished Aperol spritz at the outdoor bar while you wait for a table. There are no wrong choices from the rustic Italian menu, developed by chef Michael Kramer, who was the original chef at the iconic Charleston Spot McCready's, but the house-made pastas are a standout. The melt-in-your-mouth potato gnocchi is a local favorite. The deck outside Gianna is a lively weekend spot copyright for shipping Lonely Planet after dinner. It's time for a spot of nightlife. Keep it classy by easing into a seat at Crafted, the upstairs cocktail bar at Nosedive. Local spirits and fresh ingredients mark the creative bar menu here, developed by Walter Pickering, another Charleston import. If you're fortunate enough to catch him working, tell him your drink preferences and opt for the bartender's choice. Sunday mornings are for brunch. Beat the crowds by showing up at your restaurant of choice before 11 a.m. We recommend going a bit off the beaten path to West Greenville, a new pond coming pocket of the city. Golden Brown Delicious serves up a classic menu of southern fare, like chicken and waffles or pork belly over sweet potato hash, in a rustic and comfortable space. Afterwards, wander around the neighborhood, browse a colorful selection of clothes at Kate de Natale Vintage, or mid-century modern furniture finds at Shindig Furnishings. Many of the nearby art galleries are closed on Sundays, but the window displays are worth a peek. Colorful Denheim lined up at Beige Floor Jeans Copyright for Shipping Lonely Planet If you've still got the shopping bug, head back to downtown Greenville and Main Street, where a variety of locally owned shops await. Foodies should check out Poppington's Gourmet Popcorn, where you can try Maddie from scratch flavors like bacon cheddar and spicy dill pickle, and create your own popcorn mix. Mess General Store, a staple in the city since 1883, has a little bit of everything in its vast square footage. Kids will love choosing from the epic candy selection, which they can scoop out themselves from old-fashioned barrels. Local apparel awaits at Beige Floor Jeans, run by a mother-daughter duo. Their jeans are designed for women, by women, and made out of sustainable fabric. Another female-owned business is just up the street M. Judson Booksellers Storytellers. This well-lit and cozy space, with its own cafe, carries southern-themed gifts alongside local authors and the latest bestsellers. Like many regions of the South, Greenville County was famous for moonshine back in the days of bootleggers. You should NT leave the city without giving the modern version a try. 
dip into Dark Corner Distillery to end your visit with a sip of Wildberry Shine or the creatively named Tiger Fire, and toast to a memorable weekend. Greenville is an easy drive from Atlanta and Charlotte. The Greenville Spartanburg Airport is about 15 miles outside the city ride sharing and hotel shuttles are available. For a distinctly Greenville sleep, try the Swamp Rabbit Inn, a welcoming, small BB. There are plenty of chain hotels in town as well the Weston Point Set and the Loft are particularly well located. Trisha Ping traveled to Greenville with assistance from Visit Greenville. Lonely Planet contributors do not accept freebies in exchange for positive coverage.